Hey guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete the Strange Statues puzzle. One of the hardest activities to find, let alone solve, in Red Dead Redemption 2. But the reward at the end is oh so sweet and can make you pretty rich. So we're going to be diving in how you solve it in this video today. So step number one is finding the puzzle room itself. And it's kind of tough to give a specific location on where this is. So it's just to the east of Donner Falls. And Donner Falls is sort of southeast to the uh, Wapati Indian Reservation. So you see that eye on the map right there? It's southeast of that. Now, what you're going to want to look for is sort of like a cut or a cave in the granite that you can almost go in. When you get close to it, it's going to be obvious that you found it because it's, it's going to be like a slit in the rock that you can go inside. Now, sort of my own quick tip for this, I would either recommend you do this during the daytime or you bring your lantern in there because it is very dark and you're going to need to be paying attention to a lot of different details here in order to sort of figure this out. So I did it in the dark and it was kind of difficult, but I would recommend that you either have your lantern or do it during the daytime. So when you enter the cave, the only thing that's going to be inside is a statue in the center followed by seven statues of what looks to be men just standing there surrounding the one in the center. It's seven male statues positioned around a central sculpture of a woman with eagle wings. Now at this point, you can actually examine the statue and Arthur will actually write this down as strange statues. Now, each of the seven statues rests on a pedestal, and each pedestal features a button that you can press. Now, if you press a button, it will disappear into the pedestal and come out on the other side where you can press it again to reset it in its original position. Now, the task at hand is to identify which of the seven buttons need to be pressed and which ones need to remain in their initial state. So the only clues you initially have at your disposal are the seven statues. And if you observe them closely, you will notice that they are all slightly different. The detail that makes each one unique is its hands. More specifically, each statue has a set number of unbroken digits. So the one closest to the entrance, uh, for example, only has its two middle fingers. It's flipping us the bird which means it has two. So if we go around the statues clockwise, the first one at the entrance has two, the one to the right of that has four, then five, eight, three, four, and six. So from there, you have to sort of figure out what do those numbers mean. However, you might notice that one of the statues is actually missing its left arm. It's the only statue in the whole bunch that has a limb missing. So this is where you're going to need to explore the cave. And when you explore the cave, you might actually find this guy's missing limb. And his missing limb has three fingers. So if you add this to the four fingers on the other hand of the statue with the broken arm, you'll end up with seven. So that means if we look at our new statue list, the one at the very uh, entrance is two, four, five, eight, three, seven, and six. So again, what do you do with the numbers here? and what do they mean? So you can start to look for other clues around the cave itself. I looked for a, a number, maybe they were supposed to add up to something. You can try even numbers, odd numbers, but the answer here and the ones you need to press are the prime numbers. So quick math lesson here, a prime number is a whole number greater than one whose only factors are one and itself. So a factor is a whole number that can be divided evenly into another number. So for this, we only have four choices. We have two, three, five, and seven. So out of the seven statues, four of them need to be pressed in. The one facing the entrance at two, then if we go over two to the right, five, skipping one, then hitting three and seven. And if you do so, you'll notice that the cave will start to shake a little bit and the statue in the center, the lady with the eagle wings, she will actually have her like bottom of the statue open up. And what you will see inside is now a secret stash of three gold bars. And those three gold bars can be turned into any one of the fences in the game. And you'll be able to make some serious cash, which is really cool. Those gold bars are worth a ton. 
So it's definitely something you're going to want to turn in because they just are basically sitting in your satchel doing nothing. So that right there is how you complete the Strange Statues puzzle. Again, since this is not located on the map, it is one of the hardest puzzles to find and to solve as well. I mean, the fact that it's super dark, the fact that you might not know what you're looking for, uh, you know, trying to figure out prime number is the answer. So that's how you do it and that's how you solve it and your reward at the end is quite nice. So let me know in the comments down below, have you tried to solve the Strange Statues puzzle? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.